Hey guys, welcome to Precision Machine Shed in part four of the Precision Mauser build. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna just gonna do a quick video on free floating the barrel, so hang tight and enjoy. We have our <clears throat> rifle set up in a rifle rest here, and this is a this is an old Decker. I was actually fortunate enough to find this guy. It looks like it's brand new. They haven't made them in several years, but this works really good for doing this. So we're gonna relieve the barrel channel on the stock and before we do anything um, a couple tools you might want to use here is kind of a standard scraping tool this is so you can get in the barrel channel and scrape it these work okay for like getting down towards the end they don't take off a lot of wood at a time so they could take forever they make these in several different forms too in several different radiuses uh, if you want to really get really aggressive here's a nice swiss made spoon chisel very sharp um, you can get pretty aggressive with these things, but they're, you know, they might take a while too. The best, worst tool in the world for doing this is of course the Dremel with a sanding drum on it. Uh, probably more stocks have been wrecked with these things than anything else, but if you're careful with them, uh, they do do a pretty good job. The other alternative to all this would be if you have a straight taper in your barrel, you could set it up in a milling machine and that would be the most accurate uh, way, quickest, and you'll get very good results with it. So all I'm going to do is come along here and just use my sharpie and just keep, keep the same angle. And this is just a, a guideline so we don't go further than we want to. So we can go a little deeper down in the bottom here, not a, as big of a deal, but when we get along the sides here, we want to basically just cut, sand that line off. We don't want to take any more, and we don't, you know, if we take less, that's fine, but we don't take any more. in here. Now I'm going to compress it down a little bit and see. And I'm going to compress it to the side a little bit. Compress it to the side a little bit. Alright, so here's just to show how nice and concentric and even. Take your time. You'll get a nice even line all the way across there. Let's see if we can get this one to show up. A little glare there, but. But this bottom one, you can see it right there. It's just the same as the top, and it looks nice and straight. So here you go, take your time. It'll turn out nice. Alright, so that was just a quick video on free floating a barrel and kind of how I do it. Uh, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this guy out to the shooting range. We're going to uh, load up a few more loads like we had before. And I'm also going to up the charge on those 105s just a little bit because I think if we can get a little bit more speed out of those things, I think that group will probably tighten up and hopefully we'll hit a node in the barrel. So if you guys enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below, I always try to reply to every comment that I receive. And also like and share. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. If you would like to help make more great videos like this, please feel free to stop by my Patreon account. And for as little as a dollar a month, you can help me and we can make awesome videos like this and my content will just be that much better. So, till next time, stay safe on your machines and shoot safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. We can turn it on. And now it still wobbles a little bit.
but it does make the noise and as long as you don't have a long piece in there you can deal with that and this isn't really a large enough piece to cause any vibration 